there were three little gallops sitting on top of the rocks at the river close to Mount Kinabal, deep in the rainforests of Borneo. Your necklace looks amazing, Anang. I never seen it before. Is it new? Oh yeah, my mother gave it to me last week. Do you want to wear it? Anang took her necklace off and tried to pass it to the other gallop when a bird snatched the necklace and flew away. Oh no! The bird just snatched your necklace away. It's flying towards the human village. My mother entrusted it to me. I must get it back. It's too dangerous, swimming closely to the coastal area. You might get caught by the human. They never like us. Anang jumped into the water and her brown skin immediately turned luminescent as a flash seemingly dissolved into fluid while maintaining her humanoid form. Their ancestors had told them numerous stories of how these monsters terrorized them and drove them away to the huge lake surrounded by mountains in the middle of the island Borneo. Are you heading to the human village? You are not supposed to go there. I have to retrieve my necklace. It was taken away by a bird. That necklace is a gift for my mother during my birthday. Just stay safe, remember? Don't let the human see you. Anang continued to swim. Once she was near the riverbank, she swam up to the surface and popped her head up slightly to check for any humans. Her fluid form quickly turned to flesh with brown colored skin. She didn't see the bird that took the necklace. A gallop? Unbelievable! Anang heard a nasal voice speaking from behind. She turned her head and saw a little creature that looked slightly like her. Except that the creature was walking on two feet. It was a human boy. I can't believe it. My mother told me a lot of stories about you. Yes, indeed I am. I'm a human. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Katu. The boy attempted to shake Anang's hand. But Anang was shocked that she accidentally pulled him into the water. The boy struggled to get up. Anang was hesitant. But she decided to rescue the boy and bring him to the shore. Thank you for helping me. I'm sorry for scaring you away with the hand grabbing thing. It is called a handshake. It's what we do when we meet others. I'm sorry too. I thought you wanted to harm me. You could have just left, but you returned and saved me. What made you change your mind? I was always told that you are all monsters, but I think it's not true. You seem like a really nice human. I'm glad that you think so. We don't even know that Gallop exists. We thought they were just a myth. Please promise me that you'll never tell anybody about us. I promise you can trust me. It's our secret. I have something for you. I found it this afternoon. Katu took out the necklace from his pocket. It was the necklace that Anang was looking for. I think it suits you. It sparkles just like your eyes. Thank you, Katu. I guess I'll have to leave now before anyone else sees me. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Since then, Anang and Katu occasionally meet at the riverbank. Anang was relieved to learn that humans were just like them. They were generous and friendly. Katu was delighted to find that all the precautionary tales about Gallup were not true at all, as they were loving and protective beings. The two became best friends. The end.